types of changes now these changes that take place around us continuously can be natural or man made changes as you can tell by the name natural changes are those that occur naturally in our world growth of living things is an example of a natural change man made changes are changes made by human beings cooking of food is an example of man made change reversible and irreversible changes ice turns into water if heated this water on cooling again changes back into ice change where a substance can be brought back into its original form is called a reversible change can you think of some other examples of reversible changes take a balloon and blow enough air into it but not so much so it bursts the balloon changes into a big round form now release the air from the balloon and it will go back to its original limp form this is a reversible change take a ball of clay in your favorite color mold it into a fruit or any shape that you want now roll the clay back into a round ball this again is a reversible change a change where substances cannot be brought back to their original form is called irreversible change growth of living things is an irreversible change let's see if we can think of some more changes that cannot be reversed take a cup of rice and boil it till it cooks can we bring the cooked rice back to its uncooked form no we can't this is an irreversible change take a piece of colored paper and draw a butterfly now take a pair of scissors and cut the butterfly out can you change the cut out butterfly back into a sheet of colored paper no this again is an irreversible change periodic and non periodic changes some changes are repeated at regular intervals these are called periodic changes the dawning of the day after night the coming of spring after winter and even the changing of periods after a set time in your school these are all periodic changes changes like washing your hand with soap or the freezing of water to make ice these are all non periodic changes as they do not take place repeatedly physical and chemical changes if there is no new substance formed during a change it's called a physical change you heat water and it evaporates to form vapor this is a gaseous form of water freeze water and it forms into ice which is a solid form of water so here the substance water remains the same while its form changes similarly if you fold a piece of paper into a paper plane it changes its form or shape but remains paper these are all examples of physical changes where there are changes in form but the substance remains the same physical changes are temporary and mostly reversible if a new substance with different properties is formed during a change it is called a chemical change burning of paper cooking of food are examples of chemical changes chemical changes are permanent and irreversible now let's see some common changes around us and what category of change we can slot them into burning of paper is a chemical change as uh, the substance paper is changed into a totally new substance ash when we burn it it is also irreversible as ash cannot be turned back into paper cutting of paper is a physical change where the form of paper changes you get a full piece of paper and cut it remains paper there is no new substance formed it is however irreversible as the cut paper cannot be changed back into a full paper sheet boiling of egg is a chemical change where uh, the entire composition of egg changes as we boil it or cook it it is again irreversible where the cooked form of egg cannot be turned back into the raw form blooming of flowers is a physical change where 
the bud is tightly packed with petals and it blooms into a flower so there is no new substance formed it is however irreversible as the bloomed flower cannot be turned back into a bud water freezing into ice is a physical change where no new substance is formed the liquid form of water is frozen into the solid form of water called ice so there is no new substance formed here it is reversible we can freeze water into ice and the ice can be heated or melted back into water molding with play dough is again a physical change as there is no new substance formed the ball of play dough can be molded into different objects and it is reversible the molded objects can be made back into the play dough ball cold milk to hot milk is again a physical change milk is changed from its cooler form to its warmer form so there is no change of substance it is also reversible we can heat milk to make it warm and we can cool it to make it cold